I'm currently joined by JT from Extra Salt. Uh, first of all, congratulations on making it to the playoffs. And you've done so in incredibly impressive fashion. Uh, let's talk about being underestimated. Do you think people underestimate the Extra Salt team? Not just the fans, but the other teams that you have to play against. I mean, yeah, definitely. I think they, especially the top teams, they definitely underestimate us. I mean, most EU teams and most top teams, they just like, they look down on NA. They think that the teams aren't that good. I think the NA teams are pretty good. The ones that do play often and the ones that do practice a lot, they are pretty good. And I can make that comparison because I mean, we've, we've played against these EU teams. We play against Liquid and all those, all those kind of teams, right? So I think definitely the top teams are underestimating us a little. I think definitely off the fun spark, especially like teams are noticing that we are we are putting in the work. We are a good team. And yeah, I think in my opinion, we could beat any team. How much uh, about your team's drive uh, and passion to want to get better at the game is based around the fact that most of your roster obviously was already part of a big organization, having been attached to Cloud9 and then when that kind of ended, it seemed to be a bit of an acrimonious split. It didn't seem to be one that the players were expecting. And I I personally, whether this is true or not, it's in my brain. I think that was a big driving force because you guys want to show not just Cloud9, but all of the people that said you couldn't be a top team, uh, that they are wrong. I, am I right in making that assumption? Yeah, you're definitely right. Uh, it's definitely a driving force for us, having played in Cloud9 before and just getting cut so so quickly. Like we weren't we weren't expecting it at all, and I think that definitely pushed us towards just practicing harder and making sure that when we do get a second chance, that we're going to make something of it. We want to be one of the best teams in the world, and this is our chance to prove that. Let's talk about uh, being the best team in the NA. Every time I've asked you guys, the answers are always a little bit cagey. I understand heavy is the head that wears the crown. I get it. But I think there's a lot of people right now looking at your team and saying that is the best North American team in terms of current form. What do you think? I mean, I think it's I'm going to give the same answer all my teammates give. I think it's still early stages. I mean, we have beaten a lot of the teams like just recently. We just beat Liquid and Extreme and Road, but uh, it's only one time. I want to keep getting the same results and I want to keep pushing us to like higher levels before I can firmly say that we're the best team in NA. With that in mind, are there any teams that you are afraid of, for want of a better word? Are there any teams you would want to avoid in the playoffs? Or as far as you concerned, uh, is it all much of a muchness? Uh, I wouldn't say there's any teams I want to avoid in the playoffs. I think I'm actually really happy that we're getting to play Fury in our first game because uh, we haven't played them yet. We want to be able to beat everybody. And we've been in most of the teams so far, it's just Fury and EG that we haven't played yet. But I mean, but yeah, I don't think we're scared of any team. We just want to, we want to win the whole thing. So we're going to have to play every team. You, you're you setting yourself the standard of, of, of winning the whole competition. Obviously, a lot of teams come to tournaments and they go, oh, we want to win it. But really, they're happy if they get, you know, runners up or they get out of groups or whatever it is. We all know what realistic expectations are. You guys truly believe you can win this outright? Uh, yeah, we definitely believe that we can win the whole thing. We know it's going to be difficult. Like, there's obviously a chance that we don't win it, but I think that we set our standards high. We know what our potentials potentials are, and we're we're trying our best to win the whole thing. You uh, added Fang uh, to the roster. He's had a great tournament so far. Tell me about finding him as a player, how you scouted him, and how impressed you've been with him since joining the team. I had recently subbed in for the Rugrats team, and all of them had something good to say about Fang. Uh, so yeah, I looked into him to see what he was doing, and I just realized that he has like extremely... Like, his mechanics are just extremely good. So I just thought, like, if... If I can just speak to him, see how his communication is, that kind of stuff. Uh, but I think uh, he's a really good player and we're really lucky to have him. So, uh, final question then. Uh, obviously, look, everyone wants to play at a major. The majors are essentially what defines a Counter-Strike career. Um, I want to get your thoughts ab about what it would mean for you, the team, a relatively new org coming into Counter-Strike. Uh, what would it mean for you guys to get to the major? It'd be a really big thing for us and also be a really big thing for Extra Soul. I mean, they've only been an organization for around seven months, right? So 
to qualify for a major in their first year of competing would be pretty big for an organization that just started. But yeah, for the players, it I don't think you can really compare it to anything else uh, qualifying for a major, especially because we haven't done that yet. So it's something that's going to be really big for us if we're able to do it. There you go. That's it. All all done. Uh, you know, uh, thanks a lot for taking the time out of your day. Uh, looking forward to next time you, you play. And um, yeah, you be well. I'm sure we'll talk again. Sweet. Thanks, Richard. Have a good day.